All right, I'm not wasting anybody's time here. I'm not playing The Last of Us 2 anymore. I'm not streaming it. Sorry if, if you were, for some reason, enjoying watching me play that game. I'm not doing it anymore, okay? I'm not exaggerating when I say this. It is the worst game I have ever played in my life. It is worse than Sneak King. It is worse than Superman Returns. It is abominable. Uh, this isn't even a real review of it. If you want to hear my actual opinion of me playing the actual game, go give my shitty little streams a view. If, if not, this is this is all you're going to get. I'm not playing this game anymore. It is boring. I've never really liked Last of Us Combat, but I can understand and respect the fact that people love the narrative of the first game. This is the exact opposite. This game, however, decides to take everything that the first game did right and try to twist it on its head to make everything that you thought about the first game and you had to think the opposite. Like, Joel is now the bad guy. Ellie's a piece of shit in this game. She's a psychopath. Abby is the best. Now, I better go ahead and address any fanboy of this game. Look, if you like the game, that's perfectly fine. We are all entitled to, like, shitty things. But do not champion this game and act like it is God's gift to humanity. It is awful. It has the worst writing I have ever seen in a video game. With some of the worst characters. No one in this game is likable. And the only likable character that could have been in it dies in the first 20 minutes. And then Ellie is completely completely different than she was in the first game. You know, I'm sorry, I really don't feel like putting that much effort into making this review for this game, because I've already put way too much of my time into actually streaming this pile of shit. I knew this was gonna be bad. Lord, I did, but good God, I had no idea it would be this atrocious. Alright, let's, let's cut the bullshit. I'm gonna get this shit over with. Let's go with the characters. I'm not even going to talk about the gameplay. You like it, you like it. I don't like it, but it's not about the gameplay. It's about the story and characters. Joel is the only likable character, and he dies in the first 20 minutes. Ellie is no longer likable. She's a fucking crazy psychopath now. Jesse has almost no presence in this game at all. I really could not tell you what this character's backstory even is. Then there's Tommy, who's... Not bad, but he comes across as a Kmart version of Joel. Well, then, of course, there's the ever-so-likable Abby, or Abs, if you want to call her that. I like to call her Senator Armstrong. This character is fucking ridiculous. I can't imagine what they were thinking when they made this character. They they took the word strong female character, and they, they cranked that shit up to 11. This is so... So unbelievable that it, it it almost feels like a parody of some kind. Like a parody of The Last of Us or something. It's almost like you can't take this shit seriously. But they try so desperately with the dialogue and the drama and the story that they are they are taking this seriously. This is not a comedy. It's ridiculous. There's Owen, who's like one of the most monotone characters in this game. His only backstory is that he, he likes Abby, I guess, but he also likes that Mel chick, and he got her pregnant, so he's dating Mel, but then he cheats on her with Abby. I mean, who gives a fuck? Who really gives a single shit? Speaking of Mel, uh, here she is. Her only characteristic is, is the fact that she's pregnant. I'm not even... That's not an exaggeration. Then there's Lev, who is a, also another shitty character. Uh, Lev's backstory, it does not belong in a zombie apocalypse, I can tell you that. This game is literally about survival. You don't have time to, to deal with privileged things like this. You know, this is about survival. It doesn't really matter about, like, real life world events. Because all that goes out the window when giant fungus monsters are trying to eat your flesh. So, sorry Lev, you're a dog shit character. Dina is probably the character that I hated the most in this game. She was just so unbelievably unlikable. Ellie and Dina's <coughs> romance, if that's really what you want to call it, is about as shallow as a piss puddle. 
These characters have zero chemistry with each other. There's no chemistry or charisma being thrown around. All the jokes and dialogue in this game are just so cringe and atrociously ass. So, you know, let's get down to the shitty gritty. Where did I leave off in this game? Where I left off is when Abby and Owen fuck. It's awful. It's unpleasant. It's to a point where it's actually funny. I, I find it also funny that Sony of America likes to censor their Japanese games, like Senran Kagura and all those kind of games. Oh, but this part is perfectly fine. I'm not going to show it. I've already... It's on my stream if you, if you really want to see it. I recommend washing your eyes out with soap after you watch it. Maybe you might need bleach. Who knows? Wipe your eyes out with bleach after you see this. I definitely felt like doing that to mine. So leaving off where I left off, I've, I already know what happens in every bit of it. If you really want to know, you could probably find it. But I'll give the skimmy on, on the major plot points that happen. So, Abby kills Jesse, nearly kills Tommy. Is that his name, Tommy? I can't remember. Anyways, she gets ready. She beats the fucking dog shit out of Ellie and Dina. Because of course she does. <laughs> and then she almost, she's getting ready to kill Dina. And Ellie's like, no, please don't. She's pregnant. And Abby says, I don't care. Any remaining chances of me ever relating to or empathizing with this character are thrown out the window in this instant. Anyways, Lev stops her before she can, sadly. And anyways, Abby and Lev get captured by the Scars or Sars or Seraphites or whatever the fuck they are, I, I think. They get captured by somebody. God, I can't fucking remember. Anyways, then we get a small glimpse of the best character in the game, Fat Geralt. He's not in it for very long, but he's there and he does God's work. So Abby and Lev get crucified or whatever and Ellie tells Dina that she's she has to go get her revenge. And Dina says she's leaving and she takes the baby and leaves and Ellie goes out and kills more people to all to get to Abby, whatever the hell her name is. So then they wrestle. Uh, Abby bites her fucking fingers off because she needs more protein, of course. So Ellie is just about ready to drown and kill Abby and get her revenge once and for all. But then she has a vision of Joel playing the guitar and then she decides to stop and she lets Abby go. Ellie then goes back home to Jackson or wherever the fuck she lived. Dina's gone, the baby's gone, and she's left alone. Also, her fingers that she used to play the guitars have been bitten off and ate by Abby. And that's the end of the game. What a fucking way to end it. There are people who like this game. Look, if you do, that's fine. But this is not a game that is high art. This is not a game that's worth defending. This is a terrible game with some of the worst characters in video game history some of the worst dialogue, the worst writing ever. This game does not deserve the amount of time I have given it. And I'll never get that time back. The time I've wasted making this video, playing the damn thing and streaming it. I'm sorry for anybody who's watched those streams, by the way. You've suffered alongside me. I apologize for that. But anyways, I have to get my revengeance on this game. Just like Abby did. I'm gonna get my fucking revenge on this game. Why don't you say whatever speech you got rehearsed? Get this over with. Nano machine, son! Fuck all these lipstick lawyers! And chicken shit bureaucrats! Fuck this 24 7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit! Please don't. Please get up! Fuck all of it!